In this tutorial, you will learn how to open and use Control Center in iOS 7. With iOS 7, Apple introduces a new criterion in the classification of content for its internal applications, necessity. Your most needed applications of your phone are now grouped into an easy-to-access mode called Control Center. For the user of previous iOS operating systems, the Control Center is a welcome and expected addition. For the Android users, it is no longer a thing to brag about. To tap into the Control Center, swipe your finger upwards from the lower part of the screen, even if your screen is locked, like this. As you can see, some of the most used functions are nicely arranged here. The first panel groups most used dual state toggles as airplane mode, Wi-Fi access, Bluetooth, do not disturb, and screen lock. Each of the icons is a shortcut to accessing and activating or deactivating the respective function. The second panel gives you a quick and graphical handle to the overall display brightness, thus avoiding a deep dive into the settings menu and the display tab. The third panel is simply a mini-mode music player with all information and controls that you need to manage your current music flow from your mobile device. The fourth panel lets you activate and configure AirDrop and AirPlay respectively if they are selected. Last but not least, the fifth panel is a collection of most used internal apps arranged with good care to the reach of your fingers. Photo Camera is now available via the Control Center if you don't swipe on its icon on the lower right, as well as Calculator and clock timer applications. The suite is completed with the flashlight app that easily triggers the white flash on the back of your phone, thus helping you find your way in the darker areas of your life. Swipe your finger down to hide the control center after you've finished your settings. Two more features can be configured for the control center via the settings. Control center menu. One is the ability to invoke it even in the lock screen, like this. The other is the ability to run Control Center within a running app. While lacking a customization feature that would allow us to put Angry Birds right where it belongs, Control Center is a complete collection of most used functions of your mobile device, selected by choice of necessity and presented in a beautiful, easy-to-access manner. You have just learned how to open and use Control Center in iOS 7.